Multi-million dollar lawsuit. The family of Corinne Gaines plans to sue Baltimore County. She's the armed woman who was killed in a standoff with police last month. Megan McCorkle has details of the new lawsuit. The family of Corinne Gaines say her killing was both illegal and unconstitutional. They don't. Her seven-hour standoff with police drew national attention after Corinne Gaines live-streamed video on social media. Now her family is suing Baltimore County, saying the 23-year-old was illegally and unconstitutionally killed. Police went to Gaines' home to serve a warrant. When they used a landlord's key to get into the apartment, officers say Gaines confronted them with a shotgun. She again brought the weapon up to the ready position, announced to one or more of the tactical team personnel, if you don't leave, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. A neighbor named in the lawsuit notice says Gaines asked for a copy of the warrant, but officers refused to comply. That neighbor says at one point Gaines said, if you put your guns down and back up from my apartment, I will come out. But officers didn't back down. After seven hours, an officer only identified as Officer First Class Ruby exchanged gunfire with Gaines, killing her and injuring her five-year-old son. What are they trying to do? They trying to kill us. Family lawyers are also upset police had social media take down Gaines' live stream during the standoff, saying it stopped the only independent visual video record of what was taking place before Officer Ruby killed her. The Gaines family is suing the county for $2 million and the officer who pulled the trigger for another $2 million. County officials tell WJZ they have received the letter of intent, but they are not commenting on the impending lawsuit. Megan McCorkle, WJZ Eyewitness News. And police say they have not fully identified the officer involved in the shooting due to threats against the department.